Hello and welcome to Sort of Sys classes. Today in this video, I am going to solve the paper of IGIDR and that is for the year 2015. So, today I am going to solve the paper for IGIDR for the year 2015, specifically the section of economics. So, the first question of this section is that the indifference relation which captures the notion of indifference curve is asymmetric, symmetric, negative trans transitive other than those options, uh, those given as options in both A and 2. Now, before uh, solving the questions, we really need to have a clear idea about what do we mean by asymmetric and symmetric relations and negatively transitive relations. So, if I say, so these are all example of something called a binary relations. So, binary relations. So, binary relations are generally uh, done, done between two or multiple goods. So, suppose for example, we have two goods X and Y and by R we mean relation. So, I will be giving you examples of the kind of relation that we are going to face when we are dealing with economic uh, relationships. Suppose there are two goods X and Y and the x and y have a relationship r among themselves so by symmetric relationship we mean by symmetric relationship we mean x r y also implies y r x but by asymmetric in uh, uh, asymmetric relationship we mean by asymmetric relationship we mean that x r y does not imply y r x now negative transitive by transitivity by transitivity by transitivity we mean x r y y r z implies x r z now not transitive or negative transitive basically means not r x r y not y r z means not x r z now why we call it a binary relationship because see in every case we are dealing only specifically with two goods now examples of this relationships are can be given something like this so we were seeing that x r y so for symmetric relationships we have x r y which also implies y r x but for asymmetric in relationship we have x r y does not imply y r x in economics we have two kinds of relationships in economics we have two kinds of relationships relationships so first one which is which we know as known as the first one which we call strictly preferred so the first one is termed as strictly preferred strictly preferred relations which we denote by the symbol this so if x is strictly preferred to y like a consumer who prefers strictly x to y necessarily does not imply that the consumer strictly prefer y to x suppose i love chocolate strictly more than ice creams so definitely chocolate is strictly preferred than ice cream but can we say that ice cream is strictly preferred to chocolate no we cannot say that so ice cream cannot be strictly preferred to chocolates chocolates so strictly preferred relation strictly preferred relation is a concept of asymmetric relations but the question is when we have 
the relation which is known as indifference suppose x is indifferent to y then we can say y is also indifferent to x so i am indifferent between cake and chocolates so cake is as good as chocolate for me chocolate for me then cake is indifferent to chocolate vice versa chocolate is indifferent to cake therefore i sees which represents bundles of good for which the consumer is indifferent definitely suggests indifferent relation which is symmetric now moving back to solve our question therefore the relationship the indifference relation which captured the notion of indifference curve must be symmetric in nature so the option 2 is the correct answer now moving to the question number 2 in the question number 2 a has a utility function of this and b has a utility function of this then a will have to derive more happiness than b does from any combination of x and y now to do this we have to first see the slope of the ic's and by doing this how can we approach this solve uh, to solve the problem so first we have utility of a xy equals to x to the power 3 and y to the power 2 now just take a mu a x this is x 2 y 2 and a mu y which is 2 y x to the power 3 now the mrs that is marginal rate of substitution is equals to 3 by 2 y by x for the first case so this is basically mrs a which essentially shows how the two goods are traded for the consumer b the relationship is x to the power half and y to the power 1/3 again taking this we have this similarly we have this so we basically have mu x by mu y for this is for a this is for b so we have 3 by 2 y by x which is mrs b so only looking by the slope of the ic's or by the marginal rate of substitution we can see these two are absolutely equal so we cannot say or cannot infer anything that whether the consumer a is happier than the consumer b we do not know that whether a is happier than b because they are trading the goods they are trading 
the goods by the same rate. Therefore, moving back to the question, which says that it is true, false, partially false, other than those options given above, this is false because we cannot say and they are trading the goods simultaneously. So, that A is always, always derived more happiness than B does from any combination of goods X and Y, this is false because they are trading the two goods at the same rate. So, option 3 is the correct answer. So, in this video, I have solved the first two questions. In the upcoming videos, I will be solving other questions of this paper and all uh, other papers of IGIDR. I hope this will be helpful for your exam. Uh, until next time, thank you.